This is question 39 of civil engineering paper of gate 2014 afternoon session. A single vertical friction pile of diameter 500 millimeter and length 20 meter is subjected to a vertical compressive load. The pile is embedded in a homogeneous sandy stratum where angle of internal friction phi is equal to 30 degree, dry unit weight gamma d is equal to 20 kilo Newton per meter cube and angle of wall friction delta is equal to 2 phi, 2 phi by 3. Considering the coefficient of lateral earth pressure k equal to 2.7 and the bearing capacity factor n q is equal to 25, the ultimate bearing capacity of the pile is. So, in this question, a single vertical friction pile is given of dia 500 millimeter and length 20 meter. The uh, property of soil is given the angle of internal friction phi equal to 30 degree, the dry unit weight of the soil is given as 20 kilo Newton per meter cube and the angle of wall friction del equal to 2 phi by 3 is given. The coefficient of lateral earth pressure k is also given as 2.7 and we need to find the ultimate bearing capacity of pile. So, this question is from the topic of bearing capacity of pile. Uh, you may study about this topic and uh, this theory how to calculate the bearing capacity of pile for different condition for different types of soil. You may study in detail in lecture 39 pile foundation geotechnical engineering 2 foundation engineering by professor Dilip Kumar Bad, IIT Kharagpur. So, just uh, for solving this question, let us uh, have a quick uh, revision of that uh, theory. So, the bearing capacity of pile or we can say load carrying capacity of pile. So, we can write the bearing capacity of pile, bearing capacity of pile, bearing capacity of pile is attributed by two components. The one is end bearing and another is a skin friction, a skin friction, a skin friction. As if we uh, depict this in this figure, so suppose this is a pile, this is a pile, vertical pile, okay, this is the ground level. So, end bearing means this one is end bearing the end bearing and the skin friction is this one is a skin friction the friction between pile and the adjacent soil so this is a skin friction so now in this question it is clearly mentioned that the pile is friction pile so friction pile means we can uh, for this type of file if in the question it is mentioned that the pile is friction then we may ignore this end bearing Okay, so, we may neglect this end bearing. So, now we only need to calculate the skin friction. Whatever the amount of skin friction will come, that is the ultimate bearing capacity of the pile. So, the formula for a skin friction, so the formula for a skin friction, uh, we can write this Q, uh, QU, QU, this uh, bearing capacity of pile, ultimate bearing capacity of pile QU is equal to end bearing is 0. So, a skin friction is F s into S, S is the surface area and F s is the friction, unit friction. So, further F s, the F s is equal to, we uh, calculate the friction as k into sigma average into tan del, where k is what? k is the coefficient of lateral earth pressure which is given in this question as 2.7, here k is given as 2.7. This uh, del, this del is the angle of wall friction which is given here. Del is 2 phi by 3, 2 phi by 3. So, here phi is given as 30 degree. So, we can calculate 2 into 30 by 3. So, this will be 10 into 220 degree. Now, this is sigma average. So, for calculating sigma average, uh, first of all, we need to uh, draw the uh, stress diagram for, uh, for this uh, pile. So, 
for this so suppose this is the pile if we draw this pile so we need to uh, draw the vertical stress diagram so if this is ground level ground level ground level so at this point at this point the vertical stress will be so vertical stress sigma uh, will be gamma dry into height or depth we can say gamma dry into depth so here at this point at ground level the depth the uh, if we write this sigma dash at zero ground level so gamma d into zero so uh, gamma d gamma d into zero since depth is zero so it will be zero it will be zero so here the vertical stress will be zero now calculate the vertical stress at this point sigma dash at 20 meter depth 20 meter depth so gamma d is 20 gamma d is 20 kilo newton per meter cube and depth is 20 meters since length of the pile is 20 meter so unit weight 20 into depth of pile 20 so it will be 400 kilo newton per meter square so here we found 0 and here uh, we found this is vertical stress as 400 400 since the variation is linear since the variation is linear so the vertical stress diagram will be like this only so if we find the sigma dash average so we can write sigma dash average will be sigma at 0 plus sigma dash as 20 meter depth by 2 since this is in linear so this uh, vertical stress is 0 we just calculated 0 plus the uh, sigma dash at 20 meter depth so we calculated as 400 400 so by 2 so we got the sigma dash average as 200 kilo newton per meter square now substituting this value here so here we got sigma dash average as 200 kilo newton per meter square so fs will be now uh, if we find fs if we calculate fs here so fs will be k k is 2.7 2.7 into sigma dash average is 200 200 into this tan del so tan 20 degree tan 20 degree so if we calculate this we will get fs as 196.544 kilo newton per meter square now since this is unit skin friction so uh, we need to calculate the total as friction as will a skin friction so total a skin friction will be this uh, qf qf total skin friction will be the unit skin friction fs into surface area so surface area as will be as will be pi into dl the surface area of this pile will be pi into diameter into length of the pile so pi into diameter is 500 mm that is 0 0.5 into length length is 20 meter length is 20 meter so just substituting this value here fs just we have calculated 196.544 into a surface area of the pile so pi into pi into diameter 0 0.5 into length 20 meter so qf just uh, we got after calculation qf will be 6174.6 kilo newton so this is total skin friction which is the bearing capacity of the pile so we can write this uh, this is qf so we can write here is qu is equal to qu is equal to qf only qf which is equal to 6174.6 so we can write it as 6175 kilo newton so here we can write the ultimate bearing capacity of the pile is 6175 kilo newton so 6175 is the correct answer for this question thank you